Steve from Car Simplified. Today we're going to be working on a small project here in front of me. We're cleaning up some parts and then painting them. These are thin steel radiator retainers. At least that's the best name I could come up with for them. This is a water outlet and it is pretty messy. Alright, we've got the water outlet in the wash tub and we're going to spray some degreaser on it. And I will note that I already read the back label and it says Avoid prolonged contact on motorcycles, aluminum, glass, and painted surfaces. And I know that this is aluminum for sure, but I've tested it out on aluminum and I've seen what it does. It kind of just, it, I'm not sure if it's oxidation that forms, but it does like change the surface color of the metal. And I'm fine with that since it's going to get painted anyway. There's still a little bit of nastiness we need to get off of there. All right, it's all cleaned up. You might want to use a little bit of sandpaper to scuff up this surface that we're painting, but all in all, it looks pretty good, and I think the tape will actually stick to this. There's still a little bit of nasty stuff on it, but I'll get that off with the sanding. I suspect that this texture is fine enough that as soon as we put primer and then paint over top of the primer, then it's gonna smooth out, but for the case of curiosity, I'm going to smooth out this surface and this line up top and then we can compare how those look compared to the textured surface. This part could get a little bit cleaner, but I got all the nasty coolant residue off of it and I'm happy with how it is. Alright, next we're going to tape off the part that doesn't need to be painted. Alright, that looks good. Now if you're making a show car, you might want to move this tape up just a little bit because if your hose doesn't go on all the way then there's going to be some metal exposed there so give it some consideration but my radiator hoses go all the way on so I don't need to have that little bit of a gap there. You need to make sure you don't get paint in through here because this surface is going to have coolant on it and the paint might break off and get into your cooling system, clog up some stuff or the chemicals in the paint might mess with something. You never know, so avoid having paint in there. If you're a perfectionist, you might even consider taping off these little circles here that the bolt screws down onto, but since this is a low torque application, I'm not gonna bother with that. Another thing you can do to avoid painting these circles is put the bolts in there, and if you don't mind the bolts being the same color, you just paint it like that, and the bolts will protect the area that they screw down onto. In order to get this flat still, you just need to push these bolts through cardboard and just paint this on the cardboard. I'm going to do kind of a hybrid of the two. I'm going to start out with the bolts in, spray some primer on, and then take the bolts out. Here's our cardboard. Set this on top. Make sure you leave some room for the other stuff that you want to paint. It's just a normal screwdriver, a Phillips head. And since the cardboard has some thickness to it, it punches these holes into it. Now we have our distance. And then now we have our holes. Put this back on and push the bolts through. You may need a different size screwdriver depending on the size of your bolts. If you make the hole too big, it won't stick like this. This isn't necessary, but it makes it so it's less likely to get paint on the inside. All right, looks like we're ready for primer. So the parts have been cleaned up, primered, painted, and clear coated. Now we're just going to take this tape off. Now typically the best way to do this sort of thing is to just have all the parts that you want to paint laid out and you just paint them all at the same time. That way you make sure it's the same color, same kind of paint. Remember the uh, area that we smoothed out? Well, there wasn't a whole lot of difference. I can't even show it on this camera because it's so fine. But um, I'm not going to be doing any smoothing on parts like this again. It doesn't really show up in the results. 
I'm sure you're thinking, Steve, why did you paint the bolts? If you tighten those down, you're just going to chip the paint. Well, there's a trick that if you use a socket that's a slightly size bigger, like not even like 10 to 11 millimeters, like going from metric to SAE in the slightest bigger size, then you wrap electrical tape around it so there's a soft cushion when you go to torque it and this won't work on like high torque bolts but this is just a water outlet so you can use that trick to tighten these down to a, a good tightness without chipping the paint.